Hello, hello, welcome to New Gameplay Today. I am your host, Wesley LeBlanc, and if you're wondering why you're not hearing the beautiful voice of Alex Stadnik, um, that's because I'm hosting today, but don't worry, he is here with us. Hello, man, how you doing? I'm good. The audience is doing well, too, because they're probably like, thank God he's not here, and then, <laughs> no, and no. then he shows up any anyways. We tricked you. Yeah. yeah, so today we're going to be checking out a game called Cart Rider Drift. Um, it's by a studio called Nexon. Um, as you can see, it is a kart racer, which, uh, you know, immediately kind of begs some questions, considering there's a, um, there's this one franchise that's a kart racer. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's called yeah. Mario Kart. Oh, you I was going to say Diddy, Diddy Kong Racing actually comes to mind, but, uh, oh, yeah, you know, Diddy Kong makes sense. Yeah. yeah. The true champion, actually. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. I don't know if I can get behind that, but. I can't either. I just wanted to stir some violence <laughs> up in the, <laughs> in the morning here. Amazing. Yeah. yeah so, um. So as you can see, this is your pretty standard fare um, kart racer game. But what I think it's doing, uh, or what I think, the thing that it's interesting about is that it is um, a free-to-play kart racer, which is okay. unique in the free-to-play space. Um, you know, when you think of free-to-plays, you probably think of Fortnite or Warzone or Halo, um, basically shooters. Mm. And um, now we have a kart racer entering the fray. Um, which is interesting because to play kart racers traditionally you're going to be shelling out 60 bucks and hopefully you have a Nintendo console um, unless you want to play something like Sonic Racing which you know I mean come on yeah. it ain't Mario Kart yeah, correct <laughs> but I am seeing uh, some very Mario Kart-esque uh, abilities here and I guess my first question to you Wes is you know, I, how does it play? Like, I think that's the beauty of Mario Kart is like they've honed that racing feeling over the years. But how does how does this one uh, stack up in that regard? Yeah. So, well, let me just um, point out real quick that I got first place. This is my first ever race. So I Ooh. think I'm top five players in the world right now. Um, <laughs> so you're hearing from a true expert. Um, but actually, it plays pretty well, especially for a free to play game that really anybody can jump in. Like if you don't have Mario Kart or you, you can't buy it or something like that, but you still want to play a kart racer, this will get the job done because it's it's pretty similar to Mario Kart um, mm -hmm. in that. I mean, even looking now, you can see some of the customization options. This yep. all probably looks incredibly familiar. Oh, of course, a turtle I chose, kart. Interesting. Right. And, and okay. he's a pirate. He's got an eye patch. So <laughs> oh, cute. Cool. Yeah. Um, so you can see here some of the options you have when customizing your vehicle, which um, I think is something it has over Mario Kart. Mario Kart has some op um, customization options, but um, this being a free to play title, I imagine customization is going to be its bread and butter. And you can see you've got wheels, boosters, license plates, balloons. Um, you can see that I have the driving assistance balloon active, which is another point I wanted to bring up. Um, Forza Horizon 5 and the Forza Motorsport series, um, you know the um, kind of assistance they have on the road where you can kind of see where to go and when to slow down and stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this game has that, which oh, cool. um, I think is really cool for a kart racer. Um, you know, maybe not super necessary for people that have been playing games like Mario Kart for years, but um, it's, it's a cool feature in my opinion, especially for new players. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean, continuing with uh, customization, you've got your, your different characters you can use. You've got your different emotes. I mean, if you've played a free-to-play game, you're, you're kind of seeing where all of this is going. Um, you know, plenty of things to unlock, different rewards to get. Um, there's outfits, which I did not get, unfortunately. But, you know, maybe I'll earn those when the game comes out. Because, to be clear, you were playing this in beta, correct? Yes, yeah, this was actually a closed beta. Um, but I still think I'm probably top five players in the world. So oh, no, we ain't, we ain't that. taking that away from you. Yeah, yeah. and of course, um, a battle pass, right? Yeah, of course, there's a battle pass, you know, different characters. And similar to what we're seeing in the free-to-play model these days, there's a standard battle pass that is free for everyone, and then there's a premium one that unlocks additional content um, to unlock. Uh, so, yeah, like, like I mentioned, similar to Fortnite and other free-to-plays, this is doing all of the you know must-haves when it comes to having a free-to-play game you got to have your battle pass you got to have customization you got to have different modes um and speaking of modes probably the thing i liked most in this game was these license challenges um mm -hmm. which is something i really think other kart racers could learn from especially mario kart um so basically they are you know challenges that you complete that are quite different from races um they can be something more akin to a battle mode they can like what we're about to watch here um is called splash attack and you don't race at all you're trying to hit enemies on the road with um 
one of the uh, like water balloon type items. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, you can see here it's 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 not the most you know exciting gameplay thing ever, but it's it's a fun thing to offer instead of yeah. having to sit there and you know race all day. Um, you can, can see you... here that I thought this was a race. <laughs> There's me trying to <laughs> boost right off. Yeah. Um, and then I was like, oh, I'm oh, supposed to hit enemies with the okay. water balloon. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and what's cool about these challenges is that you can kind of see a little score thing in the right corner. And um, what you're trying to do is get the highest possible score. And then you can get either one star, two star, or three star based on how you performed. And then not only does that unlock additional challenges and additional licenses for you to get, but it also unlocks different rewards, which you can see down at the bottom. You know, if I get three stars on this reward, I get a, a new character. Two stars gives me a front, and one star gives me a, um, a different customization thing. Um, gotcha. Here's another challenge that I really liked. This was a boss battle, um, oh. which is pretty interesting for a kart racer. You know, boss battles aren't really um, typically associated with kart racers um definitely not um, but like <laughs> yeah so my the, the game itself is you know it's it's a pretty standard kart racer but it's doing a lot of unique things that i think a game like mario kart could learn from you know um especially considering the latest has everything you'd want out of a kart like what can they add to make you know kart racing feel invigorated and i think that nexon has kind of beat them to it um, with Kart Rider Drift and between boss battles, challenges, you know, those kind sure. of things. So now are the, the, the license challenges, are they all single player or can they be played multiplayer in, in what you've played? So um, maybe in the final release it'll be different, but it was all single player in, um, in what I played. So they're, they're pretty short too, like a minute max, maybe two minutes. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, sometimes uh, they're boss battles, sometimes it's the water balloon one we showed. I've got um, another one coming up here that uh, was probably my favorite thing I played in the entire game. Um, there's all kinds. There was, I think, I want to say like 10 or 15 challenges available to me in the beta. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and there's there's more licenses that are locked, so you'll be able to unlock a ton more, um, you know, things to do. Cool. Um, yeah. So this one here, this is my favorite thing I did during the beta. You can see that little drone thing flies down and tells you what hazards about to come, and you have to protect these three bot racers. Oh. So you have to you have to drive through the correct item to get the correct thing to protect them. God, so, so it's, a, it's an escort mission, but yeah. kart racing? Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh no. So you can see like the UFO is going to come down, so I have to make sure to drive through this red EMP blast. Oh, okay. And then when the UFO appears, I have to um, EMP blast and take yeah. them out. Um, you know, here we've got this little, what's it called? The Water Wisp, um, which is basically kind of like a mini blue shell from Mario Kart. Okay. And you have to shield it so that they... Um, don't get hit. And then this last one is lightning, which you just need to pick up this yellow box. And then when you see the cloud drop down, use it and you protect them. You, um, you weren't lying about being top five. No, yeah. I mean, this is pro level strats right here. Like if you're watching this and you're excited to jump into um, Kart Rider, like definitely, you know, study this, notes, yeah. learn my techniques. Um, you know, I'm going to take you to the top with me. You won't be ahead of me, obviously, because... I'm probably best player yeah. in the world, but um, you know, you can kind of, you can, you can uh, drift behind my curtails. You'll be, you'll be bottom of the top, like Greg in Succession. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, excellent call out. Thank Shout you. out to Succession. Wow, yeah. great episode, great finale. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, I'm seeing a lot of similar maps. Maybe it's just in the beta, but have they said how many, how many uh, maps are going to be in at launch uh, or tracks uh at launch or you know what was your yeah. experience with that so there's no like official number for number or for maps yet like how many there's going to be but i did play a few um one of my bigger critiques is something you kind of touched on is they are a little samey they have a bit of that kind of i don't know generic vibe to it mm -hmm. but um you know it's it's tough to not feel generic when other kart racers are so heavily influenced by IP, you know, you've got Mario, Sonic, <clears throat> Donkey Kong. When you don't have those. Kind of IP, some pretty beautiful tracks, in my opinion. Um, there's this. This one where I raced. Um, um, 
through like a reason why I'm not showing that. It's not because I got eighth place. <laughs> that would be absurd. Be embarrassing for a top five player. Um, so yeah, is exactly. there a, is there, bear with me here. Is there a horse that's in space that has a track that is multicolored perhaps and everyone either hates it or loves it? I didn't get to play it, but I have seen a trailer that has something pretty similar looking to that, I believe. Okay. Um, I believe what you're alluding to would be the old uh, Rainbow Road. The good old Everyone's Rainbow favorite. Road. Never, never heard of her. Yeah. So as we wrap up this final race here, um, just to kind of recap, this is a free-to-play kart racer game um, coming to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series XS, PS4, Xbox One, PC, the whole shabam. And... Um, yeah, it's 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 a fun kart racer game. If you want something kind of like Mario Kart but don't want to pay sixty dollars, um, I think this game has you covered. And um, I'm excited to check it out when the when the final game releases. There you go. I'll have to keep watching you shred. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. Yeah. Happy to be here.